Well, the Radiation Oncology Residency Program at UT Health San Antonio uh, is a strong, clinical, innovative program. We provide a clinical environment with an enormous breadth of patient experience. We see the most complex, the most interesting cases all throughout Southern Texas. Here at the Cancer Center, we have a wide variety of not only uh, complex and interesting cases uh, throughout a whole spectrum of disease sites, but also a wide array of, of patients from all different sorts of backgrounds. Residents that come through our program go on three-month rotations with individual faculty, and the faculty will serve as their mentors as they learn that disease site. And so it's a one-to-one -one resident to faculty rotation. And I think that by having an extended period of time with an individual faculty, residents come away with a better appreciation for that disease site. What I like to see and what we try to cultivate is that you have a sense that these are your patients, that you're their doctor, and they come to you first. I work up every patient. I get to see them at consult, at every weekly check, at their follow-ups. You know, I go through their plan entirely with them. And, you know, while the attending and I have a lot of support here to help us, while the attending agrees with the plan, I know these patients in and out, and they feel comfortable with that plan because I have built that relationship with them. It's really nice to have that ownership of those patients and, you know, feel like I am taking care of them through their cancer treatment. And so getting that really focused attention on the one uh, oncologic site has helped me to really focus my studies to, you know, get repeated practice at coming up with a plan with doing contours for that site. And then also having the rotation for three months, again, gives me that opportunity to see patients from consultation to completion of treatment and follow-up. So at its foundation, we are a clinical training program, and that's our goal is to make great radiation oncologists. But we also want to offer uh, for individuals who are interested in an academic career, those opportunities as well. At Mays Cancer Center, we're, we're blessed to have a really uh, great team and a, and a really great space. And we actually have a lot of room, not only to take care of our patients, but extra vaults to conduct research and uh, unique treatments tailored to the individual patients that we have. And then not only just the physical space, but the, the team that we've assembled here at Mays Cancer Center, not only just on the medical residence side, but throughout the Department of Physics and Dosimetry, we have a, a number of learners throughout the department that, that really foster a, a, an environment for, for innovation that I think is, is really unique to our cancer center. One of the really nice things about UT Health San Antonio is their very robust brachytherapy program, specifically in the gynecologic cancers. They do a tremendous number of tandem and ovoid procedures. I myself had done well over a hundred of those by the time that I graduated. One uh, unique aspect of the program is our partnership with MD Anderson. Uh, on a weekly basis, we get to review uh, our cases with them that we plan with our attendings and we get to review it with, with their attendings as well. Uh, and we also have access with uh, clinical trials there, which is very important for our, our patients. So uh, from, from both ends, it's very unique for us to get input from another center for a large like MD Anderson in order to get a different perspective. And that's very important for, for our training. I gained a much better understanding of radiation, not only from the attendings that are physically present at UT Health San Antonio, but also through some of the MD Anderson affiliations. They really gave you access to everything to make you feel that you could learn or do whatever you set your mind to. So whether as a resident you come through here and you end up going into basic science or translational research or, or into clinic and private practice, a strong clinical foundation is, is key to your education. We're really excited here at UT Health San Antonio Mays Cancer Center that we have a wonderful opportunity to bring new innovative technologies to the people of San Antonio and the greater Rio Grande Valley. We've just now started a very robust interstitial high dose rate brachytherapy program, and this will be expanding uh, over the next year or so uh, to include more indications as well as uh, more and more patients. We anticipate uh, the opening of our proton facility in mid-2023, which is very exciting. This will come with it a great amount of research uh, opportunity uh, some research funding, as well as a great clinical experience. We anticipate an MR Linac installed somewhere in the next two years. This will be the latest, greatest in image-guided radiation 
uh, and it'll be a very exciting uh, as many of our patients live distant and down in the Rio Grande Valley. And so the ability to treat with SBRT in a hypofractionated uh, way uh, will, will be a tremendous uh, value to these patients. We now have approval uh, by the Board of Regents of the University of Texas to build a new hospital here in San Antonio, right across from the radiation department actually, that will be uh, focusing in oncology. So it's very exciting times to be here at uh, UT Health San Antonio. You know, when I look at people who get into radiation oncology, I, I really look for people that are passionate about the field and, and get into it for the, you know, for the right reasons. And so, so, you know, we're looking for people that truly, you know, have a passion for radiation oncology, have a, a love for taking care of oncology patients and cancer patients. And it's, it's a unique person that, that, you know, wants to dedicate their life to that field. And, and that's the sort of person that we're looking for. With the diverse population that we see, the number of extremely rare and unusual and, and fascinating cases with the new technologies that we have already in our clinic and the ones that we're gonna be bringing on board, the sky is the limit in terms of what you're gonna be able to experience here as a resident.